one and all to the KOE Nation for a second round matchup in the 32 ride tournament. We are going to decide inside the Sweet 16 which one moves on to the next round. And here we've got the Nebraska Rye of Extreme Soldier Valley. Right there, beautiful stuff, folks. Versus High West Utah Whiskey. We've already got a glass of High West poured. Yes, Tony G is pouring the High West, uh, or no, the Soldier Valley. Boy, howdy. Mm. And folks, I am your King of Extreme, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes the other podcast cower. Phil KOE, you can find me at KOE Nation on YouTube, KOE Nation on Twitch, KOE Nation on TikTok. Yes, this is all very on brand here, folks. And that is where you can find the final results for the 32 Rye Tournament, which we are here to find out. And I am joined this evening by my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only... Tony fucking G. Like, share, subscribe, and we have got another highly pleasant one-on-one -on -one matchup of rye very delightful surprise victor in the last round so this could be interesting this one won't be bind but uh well yeah this is this is so you can't yeah the the color is so starkly different like this looks like an irish and this looks like a bourbon like yeah it's, that is a good way of putting it yeah it, it is indistinguishable right yeah uh, and the noses are that night and day as well yeah Oh yeah, hundred percent. I like so, th this one again with the nose on the soul. This is a tough one because you know we're a couple of Nebraska boys. Hmm. We've got our obvious biases. For now Nebraska. this one's forty six ABV, and this I one. Think that one's forty. Forty five. Okay. Okay. So, so they're very right close. next to each other. But you'd never guess that. On the note, honestly, you wouldn't even guess that this is forty six. But I, yeah, you you would probably guess forty with the soldier. I think. I don't know. There, there, there's something about this. It's got a very, it's got a sharp nose. Very minty, very plant. -core yeah, feel, there like you, you go. Just cut open fresh roses or something. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, this is a good example of floral, not like an intrusive example of floral. Well, see how that spouts. Yes. Right? Very smooth. Very, oh, this is mm. this is absurdly drinkable. Like this, this is a dangerous one at forty-five. It really is because this is something you could drink. And if you're like me and you get to drinking something that you really like to sip on, your sips turn into big drinks, and then you start drinking a lot, and it gets dangerous. This is this is one of those whiskeys. It's really smooth. It's got a sharp sweetness and a lot of candy in the middle. And then a hint of that familiar rye finish is the best way I can describe this. This is a great local. If you're from Nebraska and you want to pick up something local, even if you don't like rye, I, I think you'd be hard-pressed yeah, to find one, something more sippable. This one barely beat out one of my favorite ryes in the whole tournament, Brickway. Yeah. And even though, like, I, I'm trying this again, I'm like, hmm, okay, I can see because it's got like a warm peppermint. Yeah, it. This is a delightful one. I really, really enjoyed it. I was surprised at how well this did. We thought Brickway was gonna blow past this one, but uh, no, this one. I think this one hits above its weight class. Oh yeah, but yeah, I didn't really know what to expect from this one when mm -hmm. we got into it because literally a friend of ours just gave this to us. Yeah. Now we move on to. Uh, the classic, the well-known High West. Yes. Now. Fan favorite here, KOE Nation. Mm. Mm. It's the... It's it, all of what you said previously, plus butter. Yeah, I, I love that buttery beginning to this. And it just kind of mellows away from the butter. And then a, a rye aroma explodes on uh -oh. your tongue. That's... That's like, tough. This is a tough one because I, I these are both so drinkable. Like for me, I think it makes sense. Like your High West is more of a campfire whiskey. This one more of a. I would drink this inside, maybe by myself if I'm like reading or watching something. You know, I, I storm going by. Yeah. So I think they both got their unique setting, but this is this is tough. Mm. 
Mm. Really good, really smooth. I definitely suggest All right, I'm gonna picking up this. a bottle of this. Um, a lot of people don't know Teddy Roosevelt. He always made mint juleps all the time. Okay, yep. But he always used rye whiskey instead of bourbon to make his mint juleps. This mm. would be ideal. That would be good for a Teddy Roosevelt oh, yeah. mint julep. Yeah. I'm going to give you my honest opinion here, though, T. This is just an all-around whiskey that could be used for anything. Yeah. It's got a lot more mainstream palate. I think that's fair. That's more versatile this than this. has, like I said, that mint, but then this kind of has that butter. Now, we get to the unfortunate point. Now, T, before I strike my vote down, I'm going to give you your moment to persuade me in whatever direction you're thinking. Again, like this, this is more of a private, alone, enjoying some alone time type ride for me. Like this, this is a sitting around outside at a campfire with other people, social drink. Having a rendezvous. rendezvous. Uh, you, yeah, I just, <laughs> I'll be here all week. <laughs> for me personally, as much as I would enjoy a secluded, easily drinking local this is one of the better locals i've tried for me it's the butter the toffee that kind of explodes into the rye finish on this one that puts this one over the top for me i hate to agree but i'm gonna agree okay okay we're unanimous in this one now soldier valley you are as of this moment still the nebraska rye of extreme you came, you saw, you conquered. You, you did. did amazing things in this tournament. And this bottle will be, the rest of this bottle will be used well for a very special occasion. Indeed. Uh, like, yeah, I'm saying, and then probably going to keep the bottle just as a display piece. Uh, just amazing stuff here. Yeah, so, Soldier nice Valley, one. you made it to the Sweet 16 of the Bourbon or the Rye Tournament. Goodness gracious, that's coming later, folks. Don't worry. Of the 32 ride tournament, and you almost made it to the Elite Eight by the hair of your chinny chin chin. I'll it was like, close. It was it, close. I got to admit, yes. Um, now, Rendezvous Rye Whiskey moves on to the Elite Eight. I always said this was a dark horse. It is. In the tournament. It is. Now, Tony, I'm going to do something that's going to amaze you. I blended. All right, hang on. I gotta get. Well, hey, you can have a sip of mine. Okay, that's fair. Hmm. Hit me. Uh oh. You know? Oh dear. That's actually the nose thing. doesn't. That's pretty damn good. Um, the nose doesn't change a lot. Honestly, it gets a little more intense. It's a lot more minty and spicy mm -hmm. on the palate as well. Hmm. Oh dear. Whoo, that is a that opens up the rye for both. Like that, you know from the beginning that that is a rye. But the qualities of both are there. That's a great A blend there, sir. Congratulations. Hey, nice. I get an A plus. I get an A on my blend. I was gonna say not an A plus. The, the blend master well, didn't give me an A plus. But... You got it. You got it. that A plus is hard to come by. So. That's nice. Well, Rendezvous Rye, well done. Soldier Valley Rye, also take a bow. And all the people at Patriarch Distilling, uh, thank you for this. And we're looking forward to getting a lot more deep dive into your products here in the future. But as I'm known to say around here, all that being said, thank you for joining us here at the KOE Nation for the 32 Rye Tournament. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE. High West has moved on up the ladder. Tony G, take it away. Elite Eight, the Dark Horse, High West Rendezvous Ride, coming at you. I'm Tony G. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for stopping in.
just yeah. smooths Never itself get out. Back. Tell you what I'll do. If I ever get back, I promise to refabricate you. Raging rivers of gold. That's what the brochure advertised. And now we're lost. We gotta take it down. Let you get slow. It's hard to survive. El Dorado. Oh, Lord. Well, let's see how that one went. Yeah.